Hi, I'm uh, Harris uh, Evangelo, I work at the grammar school uh, Nicosia Cyprus. Uh, I've been a teacher of computer science and uh, robotics and uh, we are taking part uh, in the GEEKS uh, project. And I'm Alexis Miguelidis, again from Cyprus, the grammar school Nicosia. I'm also a robotics teacher and I'm attending the GEEKS project. Uh, basically, it, uh, during uh, the project, uh, uh, we uh, together as uh, teachers and a small group of uh, students, uh, 15 uh, years old, uh, we have uh, teaching them STEM for the past uh, months, for a couple of months, and uh, they were involved in actually creating uh, teaching uh, material and student material uh, in order for more uh, students to get involved in STEM uh, teaching, uh, getting to know STEM careers and uh, generally uh, what STEM is all about. Uh, by doing that, uh, they were also exposed to global uh, goals. Uh, we chose as a school uh, Zero Hunger, which is the number two global goal. Um, and that uh, created a lot of awareness about uh, what generally the global goals are and uh, specifically about how to combat uh, zero hunger by doing some experiments and thinking about it, discussing it, uh, and so. Our students here in Warsaw had the chance to expose in new technologies. Um, they made new uh, national collaborations among them, and they've built really good friendships among them. Uh, one point that going to my mind two days ago is that we had a uh, some awkward intense between two students which ended up into a really strong friendship and uh, yeah we noticed that uh, through these uh, workshops uh, especially getting uh, students together working from different backgrounds and different uh, national groups and so on uh, even when language is sometimes an issue, they find a way to express themselves uh, by socializing and uh, discussing at the same time uh, the common goal, which is uh, STEM uh, careers, STEM teaching, global goals. And uh, nevertheless, it was a really nice interactive workshop that they really, really enjoyed. And they definitely express uh, their sadness that uh, it's ending. Uh, I mean, at, at least the face-to-face -face, uh, students' uh, collaboration. Uh, and they are always, even now, looking ways into keeping this um, connection that uh, they have between themselves and so on, which this great added value apart from uh, STEM teaching and uh, the actual uh, uh, goals uh, that uh, um, they were working with. Uh, our students not only learned about uh, zero hunger, which is, was their goal, uh, they also learned about uh, how they live in different countries. They learned about their culture, they learned about uh, some of their beliefs and their hobbies. And um, by doing, uh, by visiting uh, the other schools and especially by having some talks from experts, uh, specifically with uh, Warsaw uh, University, with uh, some uh, women uh, involved in uh, STEM careers and uh, aerospace uh, specifically. Um, they really, even the boys and especially girls, they were really inspired and because it's a different thing when a uh, teacher says to them, listen, we've got uh, women in doing careers uh, in important places and uh, important jobs, but l actually having in front of them the the students and the teacher, uh, which were all uh, women talking about aerospace, they made them realize that yeah, everything is possible with STEM uh, um, lessons, STEM careers, and doesn't matter gender issues or anything like that. As long as you have the willingness and the knowledge how you can really work uh, and achieve uh, those goals. Well, that was great benefit, I believe, from uh, for our students as well.